right, so I'm going to talk about um, just the basic uh, daily testing that we do in the defibrillators. So usually uh, when we go, when, when you go and check the defibrillator, it should be uh, plugged into the pads already. And uh, to do the testing, you want to unplug it and plug it into the test plug, which is always on the, usually on the right side of the cart. Um, right now we're using the pacer cart, but on the crash cart, it's on a little platform right to the right side of it. You plug it in, it only goes on one way. And then, come close up, you want to check your uh, function window right up here and make sure that the hourglass is showing, right? Sometimes what you'll do, or you'll, you'll, what you'll encounter is they'll ha it'll have an X like that, and you want, you want to reset it before you do any testing. The way you do that is you turn it to any, any uh, jewel setting and let the screen boot up like that, and it will turn back to the hourglass if there's nothing really wrong with it. If the X continues to show, you got to call uh, logistics and have uh, the defibrillator switched out. So now uh, onto the testing. Uh, we always check ours at 150 joules. Um, so you're going to turn the manual defib dial to 150 joules. Let the screen boot up. All right. When this comes up, just go ahead and press charge. And while, usually while I do that, while it's charging to 150, I always check to double check to make sure it's plugged in so I'm you know just as a safety measure and then go into shock and everything should come out here then I turn it off so if you did the test right it'll show shock number one with the jewels uh, output and you know if you're a charge nurse or resource you always log that in all right so that concludes our tutorial